Greetings YouTube! Today I would like to share with you my favorite setup for a low level character in Skyrim. Now the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have a few wooden plates. You can get some here at a small bandit camp right where I am on the map. You can usually find them here on the stump. As you can see I already took them. I have four of them. Now the second thing you want to do is travel to the ruins, the Dwarven ruins that is, uh, Alftand or however it's pronounced. Just travel from Winterhold. I'll see you there. Now that we're here, just do what I do. Don't do exactly what I do, because if you do, you'll be making mistakes. <laughs> No, what you want to do is use the plate trick to glitch through the door here. This is where the plates come in handy. It may take me a few tries, so... I'll see you on the other side. Like right now, apparently. Okay. Make sure you open it. Grab the wooden plate that's still there. And head on down. Come on down! You're our next contestant on The Price is Right. The Price is Right, alright. Of course, now this door right here is locked. You can attempt to pick it, or you can use the plate trick to get through. Once again, I will see you on the other side. Need something? Like right now, apparently. Ignore him. Your target is her! Kill her! Take her armor! Because she has what you want. Funny thing is she won't fight back. But I don't think they become hostile until you get closer towards the center over there. Other than that, you can just kill them with however you want. This is my trick. And I'm gonna level up, of course, why not? She has the armor that you want. Take the shield too. Steel plate armor. Normally you have to wait till your smithing is up fairly high, or you have a higher level. I don't recall what level it is. I think it's like 15 or something. But who wants to wait that long? When you can get it here this early. Now of course I'm gonna have to drop some junk that I don't need. Now that we have steel plate armor, our next stop is Dragon's Reach. See you there. Now that we're here in Dragon's Reach, follow my lead. I would take you right where we need to go. You'll most likely know about this little trick. To get the ebony blade, that is what we are after. Now, of course, the smart thing to do is quick save because you can get stuck up there and there's no way to get out. Not unless you feel like trying to wiggle out and jumping and then rotating the camera like this. It's very, very, very stressful. And if you only have one plate, you can only go in through the wall, but then you can't leave, so you're stuck. That's why it's always best to quick save right here. Anyway, hopefully I'll get this without having to worry too much. If not, I'll see you when I get it to work. Now, as you can see, I didn't actually plop down into it. I was stuck. Let's try again. It's 
See, now I'm in it. Now apparently if you just look down and drop a plate, it should just plop right into that little cubby hole. See, just like so. Just hold it up and boom, there we go. And now you can get the ebony blade. And if you want to leave, you just do a plate trick against this wall right here in the corner. Once I get it to work. And that's how we get out. Now, as you will see, we have the ebony blade at a very early level, plus the steel plate equipment. Nope, oh, wrong button. And as you can see, we are set to destroy our opponents. That is usually my setup for a very low level character. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you want, subscribe. Well then, I will see you guys in the next video I make. Later.